Despite the Sussexes announcing a trip to the UK in September, they are edging closer to what has been dubbed an embarrassing milestone with their Netflix deal. The streaming giant signed a contract with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on September 2, 2020. The deal was reported to be worth $140 million, £116 million, which would launch the couple's star-studded Hollywood career following their split with the royal family. However, no content has yet been released by the royals on the platform and the promise that the couple would bring royal access was quashed when they were relatively absent from the affairs of the Platinum Jubilee. Royal expert Daniela Elsa wrote, Com.au, Harry and Meghan have proven totally unsuccessful at making themselves matter in the corridors of power in Washington, New York, Silicon Valley or Los Angeles. The magic dust of their royalty has largely dulled in the last two years and the novelty factor has worn off. Ms. Elsa added, so to have the deal-making momentum seemed to have waned with them not having announced any other venture since July 20 last year when it was revealed Harry was busy working on a mem. Only two projects with the royals were officially announced by Netflix which includes a documentary with Prince Harry about the Invictus Games and a children's animation by Meghan called Pearl. The Duchess series was one of a list of projects scrapped by Netflix following budget tightening. It has, however, been reported that the pair have been filming a docuseries at home, which could prove their status to Netflix and increase public interest. Ms. Elsa quipped, Harry and Meghan might have titles and the Buckingham Palace Wi-Fi password but that is not enough of a distinction for big companies to merrily tip millions into their bank accounts for the chance to work with them. They actually have to do something to prove themselves. They can't just hope they can coast along on the whip of a mothballed HRH here forevermore. The Duke and Duchess announced that their first trip back to Britain since the Platinum Jubilee will be to visit a number of charities close to their hearts. While the couple are visiting the country, Her Majesty will be appointing and forming a government as the new leader of the Tory party will be announced on September 5. The Queen will be returning from her annual summer holiday in Balmoral to perform the head of state duties.